Welcome back to Front of the Bench, everybody. As always, it's Eric, and today we're back with another video. Today we're opening up one of my boxes I got at the Expo of 2021, uh, 2, 2023, Series 2. Got two of these boxes open up. I opened one up in the Day 3 vlog uh, for the Toronto Sport Card Expo. Uh, so I'm going to open up one of, another one of these. Got these for $80 a piece at one of the dealers. No tax, uh, cash, so... Pretty good deal to get these for $80 a piece all in. Uh, funny thing, uh, when we were picking the boxes, I got, ended up getting four of them. Uh, asked the other guy that I was with, I said, what do you, which one do you want? He picks one up. He says, oh, the last couple digits on the serial number on the box for him, uh, one, one was 62. That's his mom's birth year. So he's like, no, what? I'm going with mom's birth year. 62 is going to be luck. Uh, one of the other boxes was a 69. That's one he made me open up in our back. Uh, box battle uh video uh i just checked these ones uh 68 so yager and 66 for lemieux uh, are the last two digits for these ones so gonna open up yager first so we'll turn the camera around um but yeah there we go number 68 last two digits so uh my the 69 one treated me pretty good i get a i got what did i get i got a um, slavkovsky in it I got a canvas of Jake Sanderson. I got um, Boris. Uh, Toronto fans don't hate me. Sol Salming, um, the, the guy that unfortunately passed away, uh, but they were able to kind of uh, give him a ceremony last year before he, he did. Um, Boris Salming, that, that's how you pronounce it. Um, anyways, so I got a canvas of him. So lots of cool stuff uh, out of my first box. Luckily too, I don't know if these all came out of the same case or not, um, but Dylan's box was really bad. So if his was really bad, that means that maybe I, there's still some heat left in these boxes and from that case, um, and maybe it means I'm gonna hit something good here. So here we go, 24 packs uh, per box, eight cards per pack, looking for things like clear cut like we got here for the Mason Tavish and the Matt Boldy uh, exclusives um, high gloss uh, out of 10 so lots of stuff we're looking for here if possible uh, for this opening so Evan Bouchard lacking in and starting off with a Lucas Raymond canvas Mason McTavish's running mate for series uh, 2 from 21-22 McTavish looking like maybe might be the best guy out of that Series 2 class. Byfield, surprisingly enough, uh, coming on also. So, uh, Stammer, Konechny, Voracek, and then on a roll, starting off with Caden Korzak. I believe he's playing pretty pretty well. Um, defenseman, yeah. But he's playing pretty well for them in kind of a, a bigger role to start the season. Um where a lot of their, I think they had a couple guys out, so. Uh, Scott Lawton. Dyson Mayo. We got Panera, and our first young gun here is going to be for the New Jersey Devils. Is this Okitoki, whatever his name is? Yeah, Nikita Okitiek. So there's our first young gun. Nikita Okitiek. I just butchered that kid. I'm just saying Nikita. Say Nikita before I embarrass myself anymore. So, uh, it would be awesome to hit like a good clear cut of like a Slavkovsky. Uh, essentially, in here, you're looking for Slavkovsky, Shane Wright, uh, Wyatt Johnson, Dylan Gunther, uh, a bunch of defensemen too, like Jack Eye, Gooley, all them. So, uh, lots of guys in here that you can potentially hit. So, Dawson Mercer, next young gun. Gonna be for the Islanders. Grant Hutton. So there we go. Grant Hutton is our second young gun that we're gonna hit here. Not the name you're, names you're looking for yet. You don't want to hit uh, two D men in this. Looking for a lot of other stuff, but like I said one day. That's what I'm hoping for. Hitting a a big exclusive or high gloss or clear cut. A big young gun. Like I said, I haven't really had that luck. In any of my openings when it comes to flagship. So next canvas, we got Ovi. It's going to be quite the uh, celebration if he's ever able to catch uh, Gretzky. I know he's under 70 goals away now. So if he's ever able to catch Gretzky, 
uh, that's going to be quite the, quite the thing. Uh, I wonder if like they just like parade Gretzky out. If you t- imagine if it takes like he's stuck at like one goal away from passing him um, for like 15 games and Gretzky's just like bouncing around with him to all the different places. Yeah, sick things I think about in my head. Uh, got a clear cut, but it is a vet because that's what I hit. Uh, and probably not going to be a great name because I don't ever usually hit the good names of these. Jacob Voracek, so one time legend over there with Philadelphia. Now, I think he's still with uh, Columbus, but if not, obviously in this picture he was. I'll throw him in the sleeve, I guess. Add him to my random, super random, clear cut veteran pile. Just I hit the most random names every time I hit a clear cut. So we're hoping to hit a clear cut of a young gun. Not the case yet. Uh, usually they're like a case hit for clear cuts for young guns. So. Uh, Provorov, Connor Sheary, Johnny T, Adrian Kempe, and Anders Lee. So we go get Anders Lee for the canvas. So uh, if you guys haven't yet, go check out the expo video. These are all in uh, my expo videos and stuff. It was an awesome time Went with a couple boys. Uh, we had an, a great time down in uh, Toronto. Up in Toronto? I guess up in Toronto for me. Uh, Seth Jones, that yell threw me off. Seth Jones in the Blackhawks. So Seth Jones, teammate of the one and the only Connor Bedard, the hobby darling, the guy that you know, people are asking, is Connor Garland ruining the hobby, hockey card hobby? Um, who knows? Maybe he will. Everyone's just chasing Connor Bedard and everything. So uh, Zach Hyman and World Junior grads, Babyface Matthews or a little scruff on that guy looking like me right now uh, with the scruff on him. Kids, put your put your mouth guard in your mouth for love. That's all. That's holy. Uh, that's all I can ask you. It's there to protect your teeth. That's what it's there for. Like, the hockey smile is funny and everything else, but I can tell you from people, friends of mine that have had to have major dental surgery, uh, it is not fun. So... Yeah, I would, I would highly recommend wearing your mouth guard in your mouth. Uh, Marcus Foligno and oh, James Reimer. And then our French variant is Keegan Colasar. So not even a French young gun in this one. We're, we're halfway through. Struggling, struggling over here. Uh, we're on the struggle bus right now, as, uh, as the hockey card gong show would say. Uh, Jordan Greenway. Denny Malkin, Dan Vladar, our next young gun is for the Philadelphia Flyers, not the team you want to see, is Ole Lixel. So Ole Lixel is our next young gun. It's again, not the guy you're looking for. Not the guy at all, but that's fine. We're going to make it up here. We got... Three young guns down. We're hitting the high gloss. That's what we're hitting here. That's, I'm manifesting it here. Wild Bill, Patty Kane. Next young gun is going to be for the Coyotes. Can it be my boy? Yep. Dylan Gunther. A guy I'm pretty high on. Uh, have his acetate young guns. Have a couple of graded young guns of him also. He's down in the minors. As I'm recording this, he's like leading. The uh, Tucson Tucson Roadrunners. Uh, he's leading them in points. I think it was actually like 11, 11 points in eight games or something like that. Uh, whatever it was, he's leading them. I'll put him up. Might as well. Hopefully, he can bring some more good luck. Um, but I think guy that I think has a has a, a lot of upside going forward. He's like yeah, 11 points, yeah, three goals, eight assists, I believe. Um, they have a depleted, whew, their, their, their HL roster. It's, it's a rough one, but that's what happens when you're a young team and most of your young guys are up playing in the NHL, right? So, uh, guess of Nyquist, Nick Suzuki, Charlie McAvoy, and we got welcome to Nashville place. I'd like to go. I'd like to go spend a weekend in Nashville. I've heard it is quite the place, <laughs> quite the party town. Obviously, a lot of uh, the NHL enjoyed it last year for the draft. Um, 
yeah, I know they said the same thing when they had the uh, NFL draft there uh, a few years ago too. Just an awesome time. So might like to get down there for a draft or something cool like that. So for the Bruins, not the names you want to see. Jesper Froden. It's okay. We're just we're saving the high gloss good young gun uh, in here. We're just we're, we're saving that. So that's what's happening right now. We're just saving that for a good name. We're getting the other names out of the out of the way for the good name uh, high gloss. So Jesper Cockney, Dougie Hamilton sending off one of his cards to grading. Should have up uh, in a little bit. I'll have a grading uh, submission preview video. So he'll be involved in that. Uh, John Gibson and Warren Fogel hit a short print of those, uh, the shorter print last time. I'm Tyler Sagan. Uh, it's just like their nickname card. So that one's not, that one's just the instant impressions of just Warren Fogel. Uh, Tyson Berry, former Carl Avalanche. Shattenkirk, Alexander Carrier, Brandon Montour, and a portraits of Mads Sogard. So see what happens. It's funny you get a lot of these guys, and there we go, Matthews again. It's again, kids, don't don't be like him. Put your be like him in a lot of ways, but don't be like him when it comes to mouth guards. Upper deck, I'm asking you, please remove all pictures of hockey cards with players with their mouth guards out. Just just do it. It's fine. Uh, or you're gonna end up like this guy. Uh, Eric Cernak, Bowen Byram. PLD, Austin Watson, and Riley Walsh hit his Future Watch Retro uh, in one of my three boxes of SPA. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar with the channel, I open a lot of products on this channel. Uh, release days, I always open up uh, something on release day. Uh, for most, for probably like 60, 70% of the products. I don't do like Spectre. Um, is it Spectre? What, what is that? What is that product called? I just opened it. I don't really do Allure, and not Allure is not the one. Why am I blank? Synergy. That's what it was. Uh, Synergy, you don't really open up that. Like, just products I don't think that are valuable. I wouldn't want to see you guys waste your money on it because you saw me open it, and I hit a good hit uh, from one of a million. Um, I'd rather be honest with you guys when it comes to this stuff. So, next Young Gun... It is for the Washington Capitals. We're hitting way too many D-men here. Uh, Lucas Johansson. What's up, Lucas? How you doing? Welcome to the the opening, Taylor Hall. So. What we got here? What do we have here? Crystal Tang, Trevor Lewis. Oh, it's a fluorescence. Out of 150. That's a little hit. Trey Fix Wolanski, number two. One off the bookend. Uh, out of 150 for Trey Fix Wolanski. What a name. A little fluorescence hit. These haven't really got the love that I think that they. I don't know, hockey's just hard with inserts. We just all care about young guns and young gun parallels. Um, people just aren't huge on like inserts in flagship. No matter how cool they look or how, you know, I, I think they look good. Just they don't get the love in the hockey community for whatever reason. Even the next one up, the coming up here, Jacob Chikrin. Like Dazzlers. There we go, a little rookie Dazzlers of Lucas Dostal. Dazzlers are a cool little card. Nobody cares. That's that's odd. I, I've said it forever. I like Dazzlers. I don't really this year's Dazzlers. I'm not a big fan of. Um, I just don't like the like. It look kind of looks like a it's like almost like a Christmas theme. It seems like there's like just snow on the top of it with like some. I don't know, it's just a weird weird design. I think this year, but uh, we'll just move over here. We got Justin Barron. Excuse me, former Colorado Avalanche, and Jordan Harris, another. Another D-man, right? Jordan Harris plays D. 
I think Jordan Harris plays D. A lot of demon uh, for me today in this product. It's okay, once again, we're just we're gonna hit we're building up. This is Yager. This this can't be a letdown box. We're it's a Yager box. Uh, Gergensen, Caleb Jones, Launchbox Legends, Barkov, hit him. This box or the last box? Kind of said like it's unfortunately he's a guy that just gets no love in the hobby. He's so so good, um, but just no love in this hobby for for Barkov. Two packs left. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't yet, hit the like, hit the subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. It's all down below in the description. We got Riley Smith, and we got another Lunchbox Legends. We got Kale. Kale showing up. Trying to win a Norris this year again. Let's see, we got how many young guns we got? We got one, two. So we got our five, we got our six young guns. So this is where the high gloss is. We we're saving it for the last pack. That's what I was doing this whole time, dragging it on. Welcome to Arizona. You're here to see eventually the Dylan Gunther show, I think. So they have a pretty good team. Logan Cooley down there, Matias Michelli. There's lots of guys. Uh, definitely, definitely a weaker box. Um, not what I was expecting for. Like, poof. I'm lucky this was a hundred and <laughs> an eighty dollar box, not a hundred and what do they go for now? Like one. 20 130 plus tax like a 150 dollar box that'd be a lot rougher 80 bucks still pretty rough uh for dylan gunther and trey fix Wolanski. well uh not what you're looking for but like i said i'm i'm high on dylan gunther so maybe i uh maybe this is gradable i can't really tell i'm looking here it might be something i have to try to send off for grading i'm opening up a bunch of products right now uh all the products i picked up at the expo i'm opening them up um, ahead of time. So sometimes I don't have like wholly the, I guess the, the example would have been if, you know, I record, I recorded this before, you know, the Oilers let go of Woodcroft. Uh, I could have been like, holy they they got rid of this guy or they traded this guy. Um, fortunately I'm opening this up before cause I'm trying to get a PSA submission out ASAP. So I'm opening them all up now. Uh, so I can do that and and uh, see what I can hit and see if I can get anything else to send off for grading. So uh, maybe that's the case. Maybe I grade the ceiling out there. Maybe it comes back at 10. Maybe I just make my money back on the box that way. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this. Like I said, lots of stuff on the channel. There's expo stuff. Uh, there'll be a grading preview submission video, probably a couple of videos, that, probably two or three videos after this one. Uh, I do have another box of this to open up and a box of 2021-2022 Bowman uh, U. Uh, that is like CJ Stroud. Uh, first Bowman, Bryce Young, Will Levis, all those guys that don't have any autos uh, in the new NFL product uh, because they now ha have a partnership with Tops. Uh, these were like their first rookie cards from college. Uh, that that's where their autos would be. So, uh, hopefully, you guys, you know, follow me for that. Lots of other stuff on the channel coming up too. So, for Eric from the bench, talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.